Hi everyone, this is Ravi Gupta. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I will be discussing how we can use multiple profiles in the Spring Boot. So there are this this feature is available in each of the project, each of the technology I would say like Node or everywhere it is available, right? Because whenever we develop any of the project, then it is not limited to one environment. So we have multiple environments uh, for one project or one application. So <clears throat> based on their development phase, uh, these environments are used. So yeah. So today we will be discussing that thing only. So why we have different environments? So the basic answer for this is because one application can run on a different environment based on their development phase. So if an application is in development phase, then it should run on the dev environment. And when it goes to the testing phase, then it should run on the QA environment. Same when deployed on the production, then it should run on the production environment. So this is the <coughs> this is the reason why we have couple of environments variables. So how we will be using this in the Spring Boot, I will be discussing that thing. Okay. So I'm just going to create one uh, create one Spring project, simple Spring project where we can uh, define those things. Okay. So I'm just going to create this multiple multiple environment or yeah use case spring boot application I think yeah the name is very weak but yeah that is what it's coming in my mind right now so we need lambok okay and <coughs> we will be needing the spring wave uh, the database that i'm going to use is mysql so i will be needing the mysql driver for this okay and uh, similar way uh, uh, we need jpa for the connection so basic this four uh, this four starter dependencies are required okay i'm just going to create it now so let it create and then <coughs> then we'll see how we can uh, how we can use those things okay so it will take some couple of uh, i will just uh, walk you through the database things okay i'm just going to create couple of databases in the mysql so the basic requirement is you need to have mysql installed on your machine okay so here i uh, just open my mysql okay and you can create uh, the database by clicking on this icon like create a new schema so i'm just going to create couple of databases like uh, test dev and production something like that and then we will try to uh, use those things okay so <clears throat> i'm just going to create this so uh it's a testing db something like that or test db or dev db something like that okay i'm just going to create dev db okay apply okay so this database is for the dev i'm going to create a database for the test test db okay is uh, I'm going to create the database for prod okay finish so uh, here you can see uh, dev db is there okay prod db is there and we need to see the test, test db also there so i have created uh, three different databases and each environment should be pointing to these databases okay so in a single application we have multiple profile or multiple environment variables okay and uh, those environment variables should be pointing to the corresponding databases that we have created okay so based upon our requirement like if the application is uh, running on the local then we can use the 
test uh, we can use the div db and if we are going to test something then we can use the test db and if you are going to deploy these things on the production then we can use the prod db so that is why i have created couple of uh, databases here so i'm just <coughs> uh, yeah we can see this project is uh, created now so i will create one simple uh, i would say rest application and uh, yeah then we'll see so i'm going to create some entity class entity package sorry entity similar way some repo similar way i'm just going to create some controller i'm not going to create the service because it will take some time okay i'm just simply going to develop two apis okay and those apis are for uh, insertion and just uh, getting the data okay finding the data so entity should be say user entity okay and controller is user controller and a repo should be user repo it is an interface right so those things is then okay in uh, user i am just going to take some instance variables like id and name and address name okay 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 and with the help of lambok i'm just going to uh, generate the getter and setters and all argument no argument constructors and uh, the table I would say I just name this table as a, a multiple profile multiple profile okay and uh, this class is a entity class so that is why and uh, ID should be the ID and uh, okay id should be id what is happening here okay sorry uh, id should be id and it should be auto generated generated value should be strategy should be auto generated okay so yeah we are good with the entity class and now I'm going to extend the JPA repository in the user repo and here we need to provide the two parameters like user and the ID of the user like the types of user ID so that is the thing and uh, now we are going to create the APIs here so it's a controller class so we need to annotate with the rest controller and the mapping we can do like say api and uh, <coughs> i'm just going to create uh, i'm just going to create okay get mapping first so let it be something like get and it should be oblique void or it should be like a list I would say list of the user site should I should retrieve okay so I'm just 
I'm going for that get all users and uh, um, yeah and should return okay so uh, I'm just uh, using the JPA provided methods like find all and all so for that I need to uh, add over the user repository here in this class so I'm just going to do that okay so with the help of that we'll call find all and we'll return it okay similar way uh, I'm just going to <coughs> create one API which will insert the data into the database so that is the post mapping and uh, insert okay and this is of no type insert user okay and the parameter request body would be user that we need to provide here okay <coughs> and we'll call this repository method save repository method okay and then we'll pass the user object here so it will insert in the database so we are good with the development of the apis and uh, now this is a simple application that we have developed right and this project is about the different application environment that we can use okay so I'm just going to create three different uh, application properties files so that we can use that uh, for our purpose okay so say application iPhone uh, dev dot properties okay similar way I'm going to create just rename it okay I'm just going to create test and the third one I'm going to create is prod So we have created this three different application properties file so say uh, for first time uh, like based on our requirement we can use this three uh, different properties files so whenever this application we are running locally or we are doing some development locally then we'll use this application properties file so how we can use it because there is four different application properties file okay and how we can use based on our based upon our requirement so that is uh, where the spring profile is coming into the picture okay so there is a uh, there is a property of the spring boot is there that is the spring profile and using that we can directly call this properties file different properties file like day prod and test based upon our requirement so in this application dot main application dot properties file uh, will use this spring profile okay see spring profile active is there and <coughs> whatever profile we are going to use we can directly provide uh, their name here okay so it will pick up from there and rest of the rest of the configuration will put here in the corresponding properties files say if you want to connect to the dev database then all the public all the properties username password and uh, and url of the dev would be here so i have the list of this uh, configuration i'm just directly going to copy paste it if you want this uh, just comment down so that i can ping those things into the uh, comment section okay so or you can write it from here okay so say this uh, this is a development one okay 
so the database for the development what we have created is uh, div db okay so i'm just going to use that so it's a div db okay and the username password is same for me now uh, this application should be upon 8081 save for production it's a prod db okay and it should be upon 8082 and for test it should be test db and it should be upon 8083 okay so yeah we made our configuration and now we put uh, dev on the application properties file so but uh, and we can see that dev is up on the 8081 and we can also see if it is running successfully then we can see that one uh, table will be created into the dev database so right now let's see if any table is there or not so let it point here okay and inside the table refresh everything nothing is there right so now i'm going to run this application and see what is happening <laughs> so if we we'll run successfully then our table will be created and uh, yeah you can see here the query is fired for the create table okay multiple profile we can see here the name we have given as a multiple profile right so in the dev db it is it should be created let refresh it okay yeah we can see see the database is created here if you want uh, to insert something we can use this uh, api to insert it but uh, right now i won't be i won't be going to do that i will try to just simply change the profile and see if the other data other properties file is picking up or not so here i'm just going for the prod and the, the database we can see that prod is having some data or not so in the table we can refresh it nothing is there right so now we'll come and we'll run it again so that see what is happening <coughs> okay so i'm running it again okay <coughs> so this is already in use okay let me see some other application might be running here okay yeah it is running just let it be and uh, by the way you can see uh, this this query is fired so in the database we could see that the table would be created yeah you can see multiple profile is created here as well so it is working fine right and i can check it for the test as well okay so let run it Okay, query is fired for test as well. Go to the test DB and see. Yeah, in the table, something is there. Yeah. So we can see the tables is created and everything is there. You can see here multiple profile, multiple underscore profile. You can run it and then select. Select and run it. Yeah. So you can see the table for each of the environment or each of the databases is uh, created. So we can see, right, this uh, this is functioning well. So using the Spring Profile Active configuration, we can directly pick any of the properties file that we have created. So we can, whenever we are doing the development in the local, then we can pick the local properties file, similar way for the test and the production. So this is the multiple profiling, how we can achieve using the Spring Boot and uh, and the database I was using is MySQL. So similar way, you can also use the different databases and all. So this is how it is uh, going to work. So thanks for the video guys, keep supporting us.